A picture is worth a thousand words. Yesterday, a photograph appeared in the world's press of a three-year-old Syrian boy washed up on a Turkish beach. It stopped people in their tracks and spoke 10,000 words, 100,000 words, showing how incredibly powerful a photo can be. So why is this? Joining me now is Felix Hoffmann, curator of the CO Gallery here in Berlin, which specialises in photography. He's also the author of a book called The Uncanny Familiar, Images of Terror. First of all, I'd like to ask you personally, as a father, what was your reaction when you saw, first saw this picture yesterday? There were two aspects. I was uh, emotionally shocked, of course, but I'm an art historian working for a long time with images. And on the other hand, you see very well how uh, the media world is dealing with images, is working with images, and um, you see the power of images. That is what is so important to recognize that we have here a very good example how powerful images are. Yeah, well, why... Do you think photos, particularly still photos in this day and age, can fuel such emotions more than words? That, you know, yeah, it's a special moment. What happened in the uh, history of Europe, actually, and uh, it emotionalizes. This picture emotionalizes a lot of people, and um, I don't know. I think it has a lot to do with our history, how we deal with pictures in general, how the society, the Western society, works with pictures. We are uh, an image in an image world. And uh, this has a lot to do with this. OK, I want to have a look at a few yeah. iconic pictures. Um, the one that came to mind for me, and I'm sure for many people, mm -hmm. was another picture of a child in Vietnam, which we're, we're going to see now. And I, I wonder if you could talk us through this picture. Yeah, it's a picture made by Nick Ut. Uh, he was at this time with the Magnum Agency. And the interesting thing is it was always published cropped. So we had uh, only the two uh, kids um, running away, crying, uh, screaming. Uh, they were published. But on the right-hand side, what we actually cannot see is this image, what we see, is still cropped. So there are soldiers on the right-hand side just slowly walking, and there is no war around. But the photograph, what we have now for decades, mm -hmm. since generations, in our minds and in the media world, is a cropped image about a crying, poor children. Yeah, and it did change the war. Yeah. Yeah. Another photo. Um, perhaps happier in a way uh, in Berlin, yeah. here in Berlin. And in fact, I, we, we both know the date because it was the 13th of August, 1961. Mm. And uh, the soldier from East Berlin jumped over the not already constructed wall. So um, he tried to escape the um, East Berlin system and... Uh, yeah, just as the, the... He was just jumping over the barbed wire. Yeah. That was the very day, wasn't it? It was really is yeah. a, a moment in time, a leap for freedom. This is all this business about moments. I it's, think that's it's a business it about moments. This yeah. is what Henri Cartier-Bresson told us always, the big uh, photographer, French photographer. It's about moments uh, mm. to cap. And I know there's a photo you asked us if we would show. This is, again, in Germany. It's in Munich yeah. in 1972. Two. Um, yeah. It was during the Olympic Games uh, when the terror group of the uh, of Palestines um, broke in the camp of the Israeli uh, sport uh, people. And uh, this is a photograph taken by a policeman. And the interesting thing is that the whole um, Olympic uh, terror attack was the first terror attack what we had live broadcasted uh, on TV. So it was the first terror um, what we have live in our um, living rooms, yeah. what we had live at home. So it's always the question what we have at home, what images the media 
bring us at home. And, uh, and just to... We've run out of time, but yeah, just yeah. to bring us back to this this terribly disturbing, sad image of this boy on the beach, do you mm. think it will change things like, like that picture of the Vietnam War? Do you think we will see change coming? Because um, we, do you think it's it can the, be that no, powerful? It's the question how long this image will be in our media world. And, you know, we are talking about old images. We know that this image is left. Yeah. Uh, a whole history. Felix images, Hoffman, but... thank you very much. We're going to have to live it yeah. there, leave it there. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. We've run out of time.